Hi, welcome to the next training of SAP FICO module. In the last training session, we completed the down payment for vendors. In today's training, we'll be doing customer down payment. Basically, we know down payment is all about what is the special jewel indicator, why we create it, and all those things. We discussed when we have completed the vendor down payment and how we create the alternative reconciliation accounts and all. The customer down payment is very much similar to the vendor down payment. In customer down payment also down payment can be done in two ways. One is a, cust a down payment request can be prepared, can be re requested and another is without creating a request as we did both in the vendor case. So when going in customer down payment it basically means the advances from a customer for the work or for the sales done for the manufacturing to be done and all those things so whenever advance or down payment is to be received from the customer in a practical scenario it can be done in two ways first is to create a down payment request a customer down payment request and against that request the advance payment can be received from the customer this is one of the scenario which we will be covering in today's training and the another part is that there is no request you can directly receive the advance payment in the SAP system so these both the cases we have discussed and we have done practically in the vendor down payment as well it's the same way things will move but the difference is that uh, there is a customer earlier there was a vendor so moving on to customer down payment so in customer down payment again we will be having a special jail indicator which I used for posting customer down payment as used in the vendor down payment as well advanced payment can be made in two ways as said first is a down payment request and another is a down payment without any request there is only two configuration steps which we are will be doing in uh, this part because it's a very small part of customization the first thing is we will be creating a GL master that is advanced to customer ac account or advanced from customer account and this will work as a alternative reconciliation account for the customer master we already discussed earlier as well that there will be an alternative reconciliation account in the vendor the same purpose is over here that the reconciliation account or the GL account which is assigned in the customer master in case of down payment it will be replaced with an alternative reconciliation account that is advance from customer So we'll first be following the first step is to create a ledger account for advance from customer and the second is we will be defining the alternative reconciliation account for customer down payment. It basically means that we will be defining a special jury indicator where we will be assigning the alternative reconciliation account against the actual reconciliation account for the customer. So after doing these two configuration steps, we will be doing the unit testing that how the down payment business transactions can be executed in the SAP system. So moving up to the first that is creating GL account for advance from customer. So first we will be creating a GL and this advance from customer has to be taken under which head has to be decided so when you receive advance from a customer it is basically a part of your short term liabilities because against that when the whole uh, sales will be done then this advance payment will be set off with that particular sale so this customer advance from customer is a part of basically liabilities so for creating a GL account we need to go to the transaction code FS00 so we'll go to FS00, enter. 
Now in this we need to fill a code over here that with which code we want to create the ledger account. So first you need to decide that this particular account will be a part of your asset liabilities or expenses or income. So as we discussed that advance from a customer is a liability for any organization and that is also a short term liability. So first we will be taking a number from the liability part which is available for creation. So for that we need to go and we need to see the list of the GL account. So let's open the list of the accounts. So as you can see there is a list of accounts over here and you can see in that the first things which is starting with one is a part of asset which you can check in the account group. The second is starting with the number two. This number two is starting is a part of your liabilities which you need to take care. So in this liability part two zero 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 is already there zero one is there zero two is there. So the next sequence available for creation is zero three. So what we will be doing is we'll be creating in sequence to this. So the next number I will be taking is 03 which is available for me for creating. So this is what the number which I will be creating for advance from customer. So if I need to take the number over here and then we'll have to go to this create. So create and here I need to select the group head. So it's basically a part of liability. I will be selecting the liabilities. And liability is a part of balance sheet account so I need to select the balance sheet account. Then you need to fill the detail of the ledger account over here that is advance from customer. So the same I would be putting in detail over here advance from customer account. Moving next now to the control data. In this we need to take the line item display and the second thing we need to take is the reconciliation account. As already said this advance from customer is an alternative reconciliation account. So when it's working as an alternative reconciliation account we need to select the reconciliation account for the account type for which it will be working as an alternative. So we need to select from over here. This is an alternative reconciliation account for customer. So you need to select the customer here. Once you have selected this, this is what the, you have to do in this particular part. Moving next is to create bank and interest. So in this part we can take G001 as a filled status group. Now once you have selected these all you can save it and your GL account is created. So you can see this pop up you need to just proceed it with continue and you can see the data has saved that means your ledger account has been created that description and all the things you can again have a look on to this. So this is your account advance from customer account control account you can see over here and then the create bank account is it. So this is what the first part basically that we need to assign we need to create a GL account which will be uh, will be used as an advanced GL over here in this. Now moving to the second configuration step is to define an alternative reconciliation account. So we have created the alternative reconciliation account that is advanced from customer account but we need to assign this against the special gel indicator. So we need to go to this uh, this path or there could be a transaction code OBXR which we can move to. So if you move to the transaction slash n OBXR enter now you can see that this will show you only the customer part of special gel indicator. So in this you can see the account type that is D and this D represent to the customer. Now moving over here you can see two things first is your down payment request and second is over here is your down payment A. So you can use this down, paper, down payment A as a part of your indicator. 
so we need we will be creating a down payment indicator over here there are certain indicator which are already defined you can use them so I will be using indicator a double click on it it will ask you the chart of account so you need to fill the chart of account and then proceed continue and you can see in this there is there is a reconciliation account there is a special GL account special GL account is known as the alternative reconciliation account and reconciliation account is the account which which you have assigned in the customer master on the basis of which all the customer transactions values automatically goes to the GL account so we need to take the reconciliation account over here let's select F4 from your keyboard function 4 so in this we can see that there is a list of GL account out of which which relates to the customer so you need to choose out of this which is your customer account and you can see that this was your service customer account which we assigned when we created the customer so you need to select this customer service customer account and against this account we need to take the special GL account that is the alternative reconciliation account that we just created in the previous step that is advance from customer so a special GL account is known as the account which we just created as alternative reconciliation account so let's select this enter Now over here you can see that we have uh, created this GL list now 200003 that is advanced from customer account that is what we will be selecting over here. So now you can see that this special GL account will work as an alternative account for the reconciliation account that is this. So this is what you need to take and then you can go to this properties. You can check the properties as well. Now, do you want to save the data first? Yes. Okay. Now you can see this, there are certain options over here, which is already defined. So what you do over here is you need to take this off and you just have to mark this commitments warning. So this is what you need to check. That's it. Save it. And your customization for indicator A that is down payment has been done moving back now th this is one of the thing which we have done the other thing is that we will be making down payment request as well so for down payment request creation you need to go to this down payment request it is always a standard that is F we always use this as an F as an indicator so double click on this you don't need to assign any GL over here because when we create a down payment request it never hits any of the account so what you need to do over here is you need to go to properties and you just have to take care that over here the noted item is there and you just have to take care that whatever the special GL indicator you are using that have been assigned over here like I just created and assigned the ledger accounts or the GL account to my special GL indicator that is A so you just have to take care that over here also that A has been assigned then only you can create a down payment request against an indicator A so this is what you need to take care ok save go back so this is what you need to do as a part of your configuration in the second step so in the second step we just created an indicator A and we have assigned the GL account that is the alternative reconciliation account against the reconciliation account so this is what the configurations which are supposed to be done for down payment of a customer that's it now we can move and we can do some unit testings that are all our customization are working fine or not so let's move and try some of the transactions to check that all the business transactions are working fine so first we'll be moving to create a down payment request as discussed there are two scenarios first is we'll be making down payment with the help of a down payment request and the second we'll be making or we will be having a down payment without any request 
So let's move to the scenario one that is receiving down payment with a down payment request. So moving to the transaction F-37, enter. Now over here you need to select the date. Suppose I take the date as 15th that I am making the down payment request on 15th of November. You need to put the reference if you want to. Now over here you need to select the customer account to whom you want to make a down payment request. So we will be selecting a customer account. Enter. So you can see this is the customer over here, Xerox LLC. We can double click over here and now you can see this target special jewel indicator. That means by which special jewel indicator you want this down payment to be created. In a practical scenario there are many special jewel indicator which are used by the company. So there could be A, there could be B, C, X, Y and out of those couple of them you or the business user has to decide that out of them from which indicator the user will be processing the down payment. So that is what you need to uh, the user need or you need to uh, select the indicator from over here. So as we have defined only indicator A, I will be taking indicator A as a target special jewel indicator. But if you have multiple indicators, you can decide some other indicators as well which by which you will be processing your down payment request. So this is what you need to take. Now once we have done, we can click on to the enter. Okay, there is an no special jail account defined account ID. Okay, so let's see why this is coming up. So we need to select this. So there is a error message coming up over here. That's uh, what we need to do, and this is let's analyze it again. Moving to the customization that is. OBXR now in this this down payment request we need to maintain the GL account over here so you need to select the GL and against that the alternative account that's what we have missed we need to maintain it so that's what has been maintained save it okay so you need to maintain your GL account in down payment request as well so once we have done now next move to the testing part F-37 enter select the date customer A now we can enter on the keyboard and now you can see that the screen has moved to the second screen here you need to put the amount, how much amount of down payment you want to receive from the customer or have received. So suppose I put up as $10,000 as a amount which I would be receiving. In this business area you need to select your business area. So for that you need to go to click on F4 and you can select the business area 1210. The due date you can fill anything after the, suppose I take it as a 16. 112014 and if there is anything you need to put up as a text part you can go and you can fill your text over here so text will be advance from customer so this is what you need to do and once you have done this you can save it or if you want you can simulate no there is no uh, facility of simulating it however you can go and you can see the overview so this will be overview that one particular line item will get uh, debited and your request will be created in it so in case of request we already discussed that only one line item is created and the down payment request never impact any of the ledger accounts no value is posted in any of the accounts anywhere in the system 
this is just for the acknowledgement that a request has been created and against this request the accounts department can receive the advance money so save it and your request will be processed a document number will be generated as you can see on the screen on the footnote a document number is generated it says that this is the down payment request so now a down payment request has been created if you want to see this request as in the unit testing you can execute your transaction FBL 5N for line item display and we can check the line item that is the advanced request slash n FBL 5N this is for customer ledger account you can select the customer account over here company code and open item and you can execute it so once you execute it it shows there is no no item selected means there is no open item over here if you select your special jail transactions also you will find that there is no transaction available why because yet we have not done any special jail transactions in the system because once a document is posted that means an advance payment has been received from customer then only a special jail transaction is created we discussed the special jail transactions are the transactions which are done in some extreme cases like uh, down payment advance or bill of exchange or guarantees or which are to be taken uh, in in other format so that it can be easily identified that how many these transactions are and how these things can be identified so if you want to see your down payment request we discussed that down payment requests are termed as noted items they doesn't hit your ledger account actually but they are there in the system so if you want to see them you need to go to this noted item tab and you need to select this because request is a part of noted item they are noted somewhere in the system but but that will not be impacting any of the business or any of the values in the ledger account so selecting this noted item and you can execute this and you will see that the down payment request is there over here this is it which we just created a couple of minutes back if you want to see this you can select this and you can go to this and you can display the document so as you can display over here you need to go to this call up document overview and you can see there is one line item only the request which we just created so whenever a request is made the request can only be visible through this noted item part over here which we just have seen over here in it that is what need to be selected so that is it we just created a request and now we'll be receiving the down payment against the request the transaction code for receiving the down payment or advance from customer is f-29 so we'll be going to execute the transaction slash in f-29 so as to receive the advance money from the customer on the basis of the request so when you go to f-29 you can see the screen you need to select the date suppose we uh, created the request on 15th so suppose the the advance payment actual advance payment is received on 16th very next day we need to select the customer we need to select the special jail indicator and the special jail indicator should be same that of the target special jail indicator which was mentioned in the request number if it will not be same the system will give you an error so we need to take it as a as a was been defined then you need to select the bank account in which you will be receiving your money so it will be 1000002 or we can even take our own original account 100001 now we can select the business area and then the amount over here so it was the request was made for 10000 so 10000 has been selected if you want to write any text you can write it advance from customer but now we have yet not selected the request we need to select the request by which the down payment has been made so we can go to this request on the header you can see request you need to click on to this request and it will take you to the to the screen where there is only one request lying as of now there could be multiple requests lying from different customers or maybe from the same customer multiple down payment requests could be there with different amounts 
against different sales order or bills so you need to select this particular transaction this line against which you want to receive the down payment once you have selected we can go to simulate the transaction so once you simulate the transaction clicked you will see the line item or the accounting entry has been reflected to you uh, as a preview so this is the accounting entry preview where the bank is debited with ten thousand dollars whereas the customer account is credited with ten thousand dollars you can see the indicator over here a that's that specifies that this is a down payment and this 40 posting key is for debiting the GL account and 19 is for crediting the customer account the line item is 0001 and the second line item is 002 so once you find that this transaction is all right you can go to the option of posting it and you can post the document so document is now getting posted you can see a separate document number 140006 has been posted and in case you want to see this document again you can go to the transaction FB03 enter you just need to remember the document number because at times uh, you need to type it so as of now it's already reflecting over here the same number but you should know it so the fiscal year is 2014 and now you can enter on the screen once you enter it will show you the document number that is it fb03 you can see the document where the posting keys are there the special gel indicator a is there in it and it so this is how you can create a request and against that a down payment can be received now moving to the next is you can check the balance again with the customer line item that is FBL5N as we checked earlier for noted item so over here you need to select the customer the company open item and whenever you make a down payment down payment is a part of special jail transaction and you can remove this noted item that is not relevant for a normal day-to-day -day transactions so you need to select this normal items and special jail transactions once you select this you can execute the report execute and now you can see that there is a ten thousand dollar of minus figure in it that is credit figure in it that means this much of advance has been received how can you identify that this is an advance for that you need to see that a special jewel indicator there must be an indicator mark in it must be filled so how can we see that you can go to this layout and from this right hand side you can select your layout and this you can search your special GL indicator dragging down so you can see it okay so you can see that special GL indicator is there you can take it from the right to left side anything else you want from over here you can even take those things from there to here like text you can take and now I'm just moving on enter so you can see that the special gel indicator A is reflected over here which shows that this is a down payment received from the customer even we can retain the text in it and the text is also reflected over here in this part so that is it which you need to take care this is how the customer ledger is reflecting as of now so the whole cycle says that once a request has been made a down payment is received the further cycle a whole sales that is uh, what we can say is order to cash in normal words order to cash means when the order is made then the goods are delivered then the payment invoices is raised and the payment is received so in between at times there is advanced payments before the order that is what we did over here and after that you receive the invoice sorry you raise the invoice to the customer so once you raise the invoice to the customer after that the remaining payment is made from the customer side so let's raise a, a customer invoice 
and then we'll be receiving the remaining payment and we'll see how the accounting is done and how the clearing activities are done where the down payment and the normal payment are knocked off or cleared off against the invoice booked against the customer so for booking the invoice for the customer we need to go to transaction fb70 moving up to fb70 enter we'll be booking an invoice of around twenty thousand dollars suppose ten thousand dollar is already received as, as a as an advance so the remaining ten thousand dollars will be received after the invoice will be booked so first i will be booking the invoice customer is selected then you need to select the invoice date suppose i take the date as uh, 18th 11 2014 and this date also 18th you need to select the amount suppose the amount of the invoice is $25,000 customer invoice you can put the invoice number over here then you can move ahead to your GL account in the GL account you will be selecting the let's see what the sales GL or any other revenue GL you can select over here against which you can debit your customer system is slight slow so it's working slow as comparatively So you can see the list in this you need to select any of the revenue GL and the revenue GL is with the digit 3. So over here there are two revenue GL one is sales account and another is cash discount. So we will take cash sales account as a revenue GL over here. Double click not selected. Now we need to put the amount that is $25,000. We need to move next is to the business area selected so this is what you need to select once you have selected these all you can click on to the enter and you can see there is a message displayed ten thousand dollars down payment exists that is what we did in the, in the last transaction we received a down payment so the system always gives you a message when we book the invoices against for that customer that there is any down payment or not so if you receive the message means the down payment exists otherwise there is no down payment for the customer so now we can go to simulate the transaction enter so you can see when we simulated the transaction and entered when the warning message was there the screen shows you that this is the the preview of the accounting which is generated and which can be posted in the system and this is what we will be posting in the system as a as a customer invoice so this is all right you can go to the post transaction and you can post it so the document will get posted a document number is generated in the screen and if you want you can see this in your customer ledger let's move, open a new session and in this session we will be looking after to the customer ledger as well So over here you can see uh, FBL 5N the customer ledger you can execute this report 
and here you can see that now there are two line items one is an advance payment of 10,000 and another is of 25,000 of invoice and these can be distinguished further with the document type DZ is for customer payment that is the customer incoming payment and DR is always used from the FI that is accounts or finance department for booking customer invoice that is TR whenever uh, from the sales and distribution module the accounting entries are hit like the billings and all for in that case the document types are different so DR is for booking a direct customer invoice from the SAP FI module now so you can see now that there is a net balance of 15,000 which is due on the customer so this is how much has to be received from the customer side $15,000 so we booked the invoice of $25,000 now we will be receiving the remaining payment from the uh, from the customer so for receiving the remaining payment the transaction for that is F-28 if you remember when you did the AR accounts and receivables so F-28 you can go over here to select this or in fact we can move ahead first we'll do this incoming payment later on now next first we can move to this down payment clearing payment clearing so customer down payment clearing is what once we raise the request we receive the down payment from that and the down payment received is with the indicator A so now I want that I don't need that down payment in A indicator I want that particular document of ten thousand dollars with an indicator a to be converted from a down payment to a normal payment from customer so how can I do that that is what can be done with this transaction of customer down payment clearing where you clear the down payment and a normal payment document is generated by the system for that particular customer so let's move to f 39 and we'll see how this has been done F-39 in this you need to select the date select suppose I select the date of 18th and you need to select the customer the customer is selected over here you need to select the invoice reference so invoice reference means the customer reference which we just created we booked the customer over here FBL 5N you can see what is the customer number we booked so the customer number we booked is 18 this is the document number we booked for the customer you can take that and you can fill it over here so you need to put that customer invoice number in the reference invoice reference field always otherwise you will not be able to clear the customer down payment so you need always to have this and if you need any reference you can write it over here to normal payment so once you have done this now you can go to process down payment and you can see this is the down payment which uh, was there you can select this and now you can go to simulate and once you simulate you will see that the line item with indicator A has been debited when we actually received the down payment this was on the credit side so debited now so this will be knocked off and, a, and a, another line item of 10,000 with a normal indicator will be created over here so you can go and you can post it so this has been posted once it has been posted now so now we can go to the ledger account and you can refresh the ledger and you will see the change so now the change you can see is that the indicator has moved let's take the layout So you can see the special gel indicator been taken over here so you can see now the indicator is blank even the 
document type of k dz has moved from dz to d a why because that indicator down payment indicator document has been cleared from red to green that means it has been cleared and a normal customer payment line has been created by the system because we just created the customer request cleared we have just cleared the customer down payment so once you clear it the indicator will get cleared off and a a normal customer payment line item will be created so that is what has been created over here with this 10000 so once this has been done now we can proceed to the remaining payment from the customer that is of $15,000 so that the whole cycle can come over so now moving up to the incoming payment F-28 enter need to select your date suppose I take the date as 19th only then select your bank account business area and the payment now so the payment is of 25,000 invoice 10,000 has been received as a as an advance so now $15,000 is what is left take the date so this is the final payment and you need to select the customer over here so once you have done this you can go to this process open item and now you can select these two line items so these are already selected and you can see the balance of 15,000 and outside we just have mentioned 15,000 so this is how things move and this has been done so you can go to your simulate and this is what the entry is generated where the bank is debited with $15,000 and the and the customer is credited with $15,000 so once this document is fine you can go and you can post it posted document number is generated as of you can see in the screen below so this is how things move over here you can see the document number now if you want to see you can again go to your ledger account over here and when I refresh it you will see the changes that this will there will not be any line item over here all this red will move to green so refreshing it so you can see now there is no item selected means there is no open item left in the system for that particular customer why because the whole cycle has completed the payment a down payment has all been now settled with against the invoices so once this all cycle is done the system moves this open items to cleared items so that there is no confusion while looking after to the customer ledger account and it makes things more easier for reconciliation the things for reconciliation uh, because uh, things become easier there will be only limited line items or transactions which are pending that will be reflected on your on your sys on your customer ledger but still if you want to see the customer line items that has been cleared already by the system even you can see that so if you want only the pending transaction that is open item if you want to what has been already cleared that means there is no confusion everything is okay in those invoices and payment is already done without any delay or restrictions or pending things so you can go to this clear items and you can put the date range over here so suppose I put the date range of 19 19th and now I can execute this and you will see that your line item is reflecting over here so the, these are the line items which were there this DZ was the down payment line item which was been cleared later on with TA so as to convert the down payment to normal item and later on this okay these are the things which is there fifteen thousand is dollars sorry fifteen thousand dollars is the actual last payment which we received as a as a payable from the customer ten thousand is what been converted from the down payment request to the normal payment and $25,000 was the invoice so DR is the customer invoice DA is the is the uh, customer down payment which has been converted to customer normal payment and DZ is the customer payment so you can see these all has been cleared there is a clearing document number also there you can see the clearing date is also mentioned too the clearing date means 
the date on which this invoice has been settled against their payments and things are clear so this is how it's been done so the first scenario of creating a request then making a down payment against it and then after down payment how the down payment can be converted to a normal customer payment has been done with FDS 39 and we again booked the invoice against that then we received the pending payment and we saw how all the transactions have been settled against the invoice and the the invoice has been settled with against the payments so that is what been done in the first scenario the second scenario is where there is no down payment request a direct down payment payment can be received so for that there is nothing else to do we just need to execute fdash 29 directly so once you go to execute fdash 29 in the second case you just have to select the same things as we did in the first case just the difference is in the first case we we went to this request so as to select the request number against which the down payment will be received in the second case there is no request so we will not select any request from the system like we can go to post a down payment now Suppose I take the down payment of $20,000. So this is what the screen which I need to fill. The date, type, company code, currency, customer account number, the special jewel indicator by which I will be receiving the money from the customer as a down payment. Then the bank details had to be filled. Text if anything is required to be filled in that. So once you fill these you can now move to the next that is enter so once you enter it will take you to the next screen again I need to select the amount that is twenty thousand dollars business area that's it now once you have done this you need to go to simulate so you can see the difference that in the first screen in the first case when the down payment request was there we moved on the header and we selected the request but when there is no request when you enter it takes you to the second screen and where you fill the next line item details so once this has been filled you can go to simulate the transaction and you can see the transaction have been simulated and it shows what is the entry which will be posted in the system once uh, the preview is ok so once this preview is ok the bank is debited with twenty thousand dollars and the customer is credited with twenty thousand dollars and the down payment indicator is over here a you can see that so if everything is fine you can go and you can post click on the post button and the document is posted so this is how the down payment can be made without any request so you don't need to select the request as there is no request in the system against that so now if you want to check the ledger of the customer earlier there was no item because all the item got cleared for this particular customer now you can see that when you execute it there is one particular item as a open item that is the pending item and that is twenty thousand dollars which is the advance payment which we just received so after this the next of the things will move as usual as we did in the first case that is the down payment request so against the down payment request you receive the down payment but now there is no request so a direct down payment can be received and once the down payment is received you can simply go ahead and you can book the invoice and the rest of the payment can be selected from the customer through FDS 28 so you can have the incoming payment with the transaction FDS 28 and then once you have received that and there is no problem you can you can move on and you can clear the transactions among themselves so this is how your down payment of customers has been done and even you can check your balances right now there is only 20,000 of balance in your customer ledger account and the same can be seen with the transaction FD 10N so if you move to FD 10 and enter you can see over here as well execute 
and right now the balance over here is is what okay there's a mistake and what you need to do is find so you can see the balance over here right now is nothing but my ledger account shows that there was a balance of twenty thousand dollars but that twenty thousand dollar was a down payment so that will be reflected to you under the special ledger general ledger account so you need to go to special ledger account and you can see over here there is a down payment of twenty thousand now that has been reflected so this is how you can check your balances through the customer balance display report that is FD10N so this is all about the down payment request customer down payment request you can process these things you can create a multiple spatial GL transactions so that you can you can test things with multiple spatial GL indicators how things move and how uh, the request is created and cleared among themselves and how this whole uh, settlement is done against the invoice with the rest of the payment from the customer so this is it all about the down payment the down payment topic is over we'll meet in the next training again with a new topic till then keep practicing thank you